then Alec. Oh, number four game. Number four. Netrunner. Android. Android. Colon. Netrunner. The Netrunner. No, not the Netrunner. <laughs> Don't drop the the right. So number four. Why is this number four? Um, probably because at the time of making that list, um, the, <laughs> I was a fool. <laughs> I was drunk. Well, at, at the time of making the list, the other three were higher. Um, whether I reconsider those three, <gasps> I don't know. He's backtracking like a true politician. <laughs> it's yeah. true because I mean the. the other, so what's so good about Netrunner? Netrunner is just a beautifully designed two-player LCG. Um, I like LCGs because I like the fact that everyone has access to the same cards, uh, as opposed to CCGs where it's, you know, well, if I've got better cards than you, I'm going to win. And why why Netrunner as an LCG then? Why this LCG? Um, it's probably the best designed that I've played over um, things like the uh, Lord of the Rings game, and there's another one we've got as well. Warhammer Invasion. Warhammer Invasion, thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's just beautifully designed. And the theme that goes with it as well, it's absolutely... So, do you prefer uh, playing the runner or the corp? Um, I have no... Um, preference? No preference, yeah. Cool. yeah. But, but, but both play in different ways, and mm-hmm. every corp plays differently, every runner plays differently but you can play that runner differently to how it's kind of meant to be played sort of thing as well so So, how many times do you think you've played Netrunner I would say probably close to 50 now close to 50 times yeah probably probably close to 50 right and who are you running with Uh, today we have today I am (laughs) we have Gabriel Santiago he's a cyborg and he's a criminal and And he's running against against Aspiroid. And what is their goal? They are engineering the future. <laughs> right. Awesome. Polygoning. Show the people at home what you've got. An agenda in hand already? Shh. Right then. <laughs> it's sleeping. <laughs> right then. So, yeah. Right then. Yeah, I'll keep it. Feeling confident then, Mr. Non Mulligan. And Mr. Runner, who has mulliganed? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Lots of icebreakers. Yeah. <laughs> right then. So, turn one. So you have to do. Uh, usually it's better to put these behind because you'll put ice in front of your HQ. Okay. So, mandatory draw. Do you want the the, the action card? Uh, yes, go on. Right then. What are you filming? Hold this, criminal. Film that, cor- corporate scum. So, expert Tom. I'm what's, coming what, for this. What's more sensible to defend out of those two well, against this deck, against what he's likely to have? And this is the marvellous thing about this game. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he will run your hand because when he runs he your hand, hand, he gets two credits. Yes. Yeah, okay, so right. he runs hands. Um, now this, but this is like the mind game of yeah. if you don't ice up your HQ, you're saying there's nothing in here worth taking. But he will run anyway because yeah. he'll get he'll make money out of it. Running R and D, it's just a statistics game. Like, will he see the one card that yeah. is an agenda? So personally, against Gabe, I always ice up my HQ yeah. first. Right. Because you, you can't let him gain two credits for nothing. That's HQ. Yeah. No play. Hedge fund. So, spend five credits and gain nine. So basically, you spend one and you gain four. Then I am going to place a card. So, you install the card so you gain a credit. He's gone for the Fibonacci gambit. <laughs> the only gambit we know. <laughs> And then I'm going to place the card there. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Right. Um, you dirty criminal. Yes. Uh, you flip that flip your piece First, I will install bank job for one. Doing right. Eight on it. So I will read you this card yeah. while Alec ponders. Place eight credits from the bank on bank job. Haha. <laughs> when it is installed. When there are no credits left on bank job, you trash it. Whenever you make a successful run on a remote server, instead of accessing the card, so instead of seeing what it is and being able to trash it or score it if it's an agenda, he instead takes as much of the money off bank job as he wants. Right, so okay. all of it. So basically, it's a very. He'll basically be spending here one credit and two clicks to gain eight yes. credits. Yeah. So it's second click, run the remote, don't access the card, but access bank job. Yeah. <laughs> I robbed a bank, <laughs> and there were no tags involved. Um. 
and it wasn't your bank because you didn't lose any money. No, so, so, so I'm finally robbing <laughs> banks. Yeah. Uh, then I shall install. And well, I think it's because you're insured. For one. Right. Let's read this one to the audience. Data sucker. It's a virus, which thankfully doesn't matter. It's also a program, and it takes up one of his MU slots. He's got four MU slots. Whenever you make a successful run on a central server, so that's HQ, R&D, or archives, you place one virus counter on Data Sucker. You can spend virus counters from Data Sucker, and a rest piece of ice that he's currently encountering has minus one strength until the end of the encounter. So for someone who's not running fixed breakers, these just lower the cost yeah. of encountering ice. For someone who's running fixed breakers, this is absolutely essential. Yeah. And it looks like a brain slug. It does. Uh, and so for, since he's going to be running HQs anyway, yeah. like yeah. this will just give him something for doing what he was already going to do. Final action, I'll run your R&D. So you yes. So it was a successful run on a central server, so he's taken... So you yes. don't get to see it, though. Okay. Brilliant. Right. You never get to see it, <laughs> ever. Right. It's your turn. So, Tell fourth... Mandatory, act, mandatory draw. Oh. <laughs> Times are going well after that bank has been robbed. Yay. HB is advertising semi-naked women on phones. Roto Curit shot the data sucker. Roto-Curit. Victor ended the run. <laughs> Gabriel is still rich, but HB is safe. I am going to spend my first click to draw a card. Controversial. I like drawing cards. Actually, if you're going to do it, you do it on first click. Yeah. I spend another card. Gaining a credit. His third pad campaign. <laughs> to play another card. His fourth pad <laughs> campaign. <laughs> right. Nice shell game going on. <laughs> you, you, you get the flashbacks, Alex. Lord. They're all snares. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you want to buy a phone, Gabriel? <laughs> <laughs> First click draw. You always want to make sure that these are spaced out enough yeah. that you could fit a horizontal... Uh, piece of ice. That is impressive. <laughs> I'm actually under threat from these remote servers. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, Let's have a look in hand. HB. Show the people at home what you're holding. Okay. Uh, run and trash it. Or... Gabriel uh, Santiago does not care for your phones. Oh... Run and trash it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> How many phones did you have to buy <laughs> to end that campaign? Uh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. And final one, I'll install Decoy. All right then, for the people at home, and Matt, uh, <laughs> Decoy is a resource. Uh, you can trash it to avoid receiving a tag. Right. So, very, very good if you're going to tag. Right then, so Matt, no money at the start of your turn, unless... Activate. Bad campaign. Oh my god. Yeah. I would, yeah, I would oh. Adonis campaign. Ah, now, now, now. No, this is where... It, where no. So hang on. I, need to, I needed to do something different here, didn't I? Yeah, I now. That well, no, you can't afford to activate both this turn. Yeah. Because you'll pay okay, six... Okay. So which one do you want to activate? Adonis campaign. Right. So pay all four. Yep. Then 12 credit. I can't do it. But 12 credits, but you get three back. Right. Yeah. Cool. I can do it now. Oh, I, I just couldn't... Hey Alec, do you know what this is? <laughs> right then, so Matt, you're up. Matt, what, a, what an asset start. It's crazy. Suddenly robbing banks doesn't seem quite as profitable as selling phones or sex bots. <laughs> right. Flip all those over to show that you've got three actions left. House rule, if you don't flip over, they have three by publicity. <laughs> Draw a card. If you don't flip over, you have four tags. Gain credit, gain credit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, gain a credit. Run and trash the Adonis campaign. No, not my Adonis body. Who saw that coming? Uh, not everybody. I've, I've got it on the ropes. Those famously poor criminals. <laughs> uh, 
The difference is that he's only seen one of his money cards so far. Yeah. Uh, draw a card. Then again, if you can make the most of this poor time. He has some money! Beware! Beware. <laughs> right then, Matt, what are you going to do at the start of your turn? I want to hurt you. <laughs> Yay, give me credit. Do a postal return. Matt's using the steam engine technique. <laughs> steam, very important in Netrunner. Steam Runner. <laughs> Getting a credit. A credit. Not advancement token. That's your only your second action. You've still got another one left. That's why we count our actions. Get a coin. I don't call them coins. Things a penny. Ah! <laughs> right. With you then, Al. Right. Um. I'm going to credit, credit, credit. So I have four. And on my fourth action, run and trashy pad. Whew. Just to save space. Right then. Matt, mandatory. Draw. Matatory. You didn't protect it. You <laughs> left them out there naked. <laughs> I'm not going to protect the things you love. Criminals will take them and destroy them. It's all right, I have more money than he does. <laughs> this means I'm winning. Um, <laughs> yeah. You said get to seven credits, right? That was the win condition. <laughs> That's how you win this game. But I um, have what a second. <laughs> this bank job. There's no shame in clicking to gain credits. There is much shame. Um, there is more than what I'm going to draw So with all the pads and the Adonises gone, this was infiltrated by the sneaky criminals to reveal, and I'm going to show it again because you already know what it is, a private security force. Matt installs a piece of ice. We don't know what it was. Alec ran with exactly three credits. First click, thinking it was that hunter we saw earlier. And it was a top boost. Which keeps Alec out. But Matt is so poor, he can't afford to score the agenda this turn. <laughs> right. What do you do? It's so hard. Um, yeah, it's the magic of the game. Play one there. Gaining a credit. Gain another credit. I like that play, Matt. I like that play. The only thing that would make this better would be if it was a pad campaign. But it can't be. <laughs> <laughs> right then. And what does the wily Sedgley... Um, I'll run this. I like that play. Okay, so let's do the card. Okay, I'll trash it. Yeah. No, that was that was the right play. Mm -hmm. I mean, not not trashing it. That's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh you, yeah. I'll leave it. Okay. <laughs> See, now that's a time when it would have been really nice for that to be a bad campaign as well, because he couldn't have trashed it. <laughs> I will draw a card. To look at your hand, Matt. Show the viewers your wares. To look and at I'll it. gain two credits. Have the people at home. Have yeah, a peak. well, hang on. I just have to discard a card here. A peak. Ooh, and what does he get rid of? The femme fatale. So, All right, mandatory draw. Mandatory draw. Advance. 
Woohoo! Scoring. He scored it! <laughs> It I just about something. made it. <laughs> Private security force. Yay. Now we can track down those damn phone people. All right, so you've got one action left. I know. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> Poor Megacorp. Everyone at home feels so sorry for you. It's everything a bad idea. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to discard a card. Well, you can um, install a card. I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> then, yeah, you'll have to discard, just gain a credit and then yeah. discard a card. Yeah, I'm going to gain a credit. Oh. It goes face down in your archives. Oh, there's no real reason not to make a new server. Not really. I mean, you could get some more Adonises and stuff. Right. There. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at the, the empty graves. Yeah. All right. First click... Install Sneak or Beta. This is the card I was telling you about. Oh, and they can run through some. Things. So he runs archives yeah. and he counts it as a run on HQ. Yeah. Right. I'll run it's archives. high memory though. Yeah, um, and if you can res that, can you res your archive ice? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright then, so he gains two credits for making a run on HQ because he's Gabriel Santiago. Only the first time he gets that. And now he gets to choose a card from your hand. <laughs> and it is. He's found some robots. Right. He doesn't get the two credits. Yeah. No, I'll run your archives again. So okay. Well, sneak door again. So yeah. same thing. Okay. Same thing. Okay. He's running HQ. He's using sneak door beta. Yeah. More robots. <laughs> okay. And I shall gain a card. Robots. Everything is so difficult. Right. Mandatory draw. <laughs> Life difficult. Tell me. I can't really sympathise with you, Matt, because you're winning. <laughs> okay. Going to play Archived Memories. Okay. What are you taking? I'm oh, you don't, you don't actually have to tell him, but no, if Alex's memory is good enough, he can pick up your archives at any time and have a look through. Well, he would, wouldn't he? Little shit. I don't like that about the game, actually, that you can pick up the archives. I think that's fine. It's a discard pile. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be private information. Gain a credit. 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 I'm not going to give you them if you call them coins. <laughs> Otherwise you won't learn. Some love. Uh, can I have a coin? A silver snickel? A snickel? A snickel? I'll give it you for a snickel. That sounds like a Netrunner term. Yeah. Is that you done? <laughs> Scored out his accelerated beta test. Ride the pony, ride the pony. We've got Jin and Data Sucker, but they managed to nick an accelerated beta test while Victor was snoozing. And he's kicking off the accelerated beta test. <laughs> So you don't reveal them to him. You just if you can if they're ice you, in, you can look at them all. If, you, if they're ice you install and res them anywhere for free. <laughs> Anything else gets trash face down. Oh dear. Well that that doesn't bode That's terribly well. well. And you've got one click left. Oh well. It happens to the best of us. It happens to the worst of us. You haven't done your install gain a credit yet I this know. turn. I know. Silver lining? <laughs> have a schnickel. Yay. Alec, that, that could have been game. Yeah, if you'd have got sure two not. decent pieces of ice there, I mean, yeah. But such is the gambly way of mega corporations. I'll gain a credit. So you accelerated that beta test and he found the sneak door. Um... I will spend those two credits to play inside job. Ooh. On that. You, and, no, I can't. You can't with sneak door beta. I can't with sneak door beta. No. See, inside job is make a run, ignoring the first piece of ice. But this is an action. Yeah. Make a run. So I'm running your archives. So he's just running regular old archives. Is that third action? Yes. Now you can still raise the next piece of ice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's so he gets to look at all the face down cards. And what are they? A priority wreck. A priority security. And hedge Alec wins. I win. Oh. That is unlucky. That was unlucky. I spent nearly all the game with three assets in my... Sorry, three, three agendas. agendas in I know. I couldn't get rid of them? Yeah.